Hello and welcome to a short overview on how to use the Framework Installer plugin to install the pre-built reference sites. You can use these sites as templates for the projects you do for yourself and for your clients. This way you can significantly shorten the time to produce the websites you need. We start with a blank WordPress site. We need to have all toolset plugins and the Framework Installer plugin in the site. To download the Framework Installer plugin, go to your account page on wptypes.com, click the Application Frameworks tab and scroll to the bottom. Click to download the plugin. In your site's administration, go to the Plugins page and activate all toolset plugins, including the Framework Installer. After activation, you will see a banner notification from the plugin asking you to confirm activation of the toolset plugins. Click Start to finish the installation and the setup of the plugin. Now we can proceed to install one of the reference sites using the plugin. In the Manage Sites page, you can see the list of all available reference sites. Let's install the company reference site. Click on the company reference site for more information. Under the Design Tools section, select the option called Layouts and Views Plugins and click the Install button. Framework Installer will begin the installation, which will take a bit of time to finish. After everything is downloaded and installed, we can click to visit the site's front end. As you can see, the whole reference site is up and running. Now, let's see how we can change our home page a bit. In the WordPress administration bar, hover the Design with Toolset link and click the Edit Home Layout. You are taken directly to the editing page of your home layout. Here you can do any change you want. Let's try something simple and effective. In this example, we want to change the order of sections on the home page and put the featured articles on the top of the page. To do this, we click the top left corner of the row that we want to move and drag it to the new position. After saving the layout, we can see the change on the front end. Well, that was really easy. Layouts also allows you to customize the actual CSS styling of your elements. Let's now change the color of the featured article's heading. To do this, we added the Visual Editor cell that contains our heading and add a CSS class to it. There is no need to edit any style sheets in your site or anything like that. We can simply go to the Layouts CSS page and add any custom CSS we want. It will be automatically loaded on your site's front end. And now our headings color changed on the front end accordingly. When you are happy with the reference site you installed and wish to extend it for your projects, don't forget two things. First, deactivate the Framework Installer plugin after the reference site is installed. This will help you to avoid overwriting your work by accident. And second, please remember that all images provided in these pre-built sites are for reference purpose only and you need to replace them for your final production version of the site. 